Summer day. It's just like the old outback. Nice and toasty. Oh, and, and, and the best part is, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. Ah. Oh, that's the worst part. My feathers are getting fried. Guys, why don't you come in the pool? It feels great. Ah! Holy mackerel! That water isn't even close to being ice cold. Who wants to swim in that? Cannonball! How about an ice cream cone? That'll cool you off. Thanks, but it's not helping much. Let's get out of this sauna. You said it, Blinkster. be good to put our feet up on an ice cold... What the? Our apartment's been turned into a storage shed. <laughs> Calm down, Bob. We'll fix this. What the? <sighs> Sorry, guys, the ice cream has to go back in the freezer or it'll melt. But Galatis, that's our place! I know, but it's been so hot lately. Dad's been buying a lot more ice cream and stuff. Where will we go? What will we do? Guys, I've got an idea. <laughs> going to love the attic. <laughs> it's a fixer-upper, but it's got potential. <laughs> right you are, Bob. Cool this place down and it'll be perfect for playing Ice Puckster. Ice Puckster? What's Ice Puckster? Oh, <sighs> it's only the greatest penguin game ever. We can invite all the penguins over to play. You know other penguins? Of course. <laughs> but our old apartment was so small, there was no room for company. And the light always went out when we shut the door. <sighs> it sure would be nice to get back together with the old gang. The lightless birds of a feather, howling around together. Okay, Galatis, we'll take it. But it's gonna take weeks to turn this place around. Not when you have friends to help. Blinky? Actually, Blinky, it's an iced coffee table. <laughs> Thanks, Gladys. This is perfect. The other
other penguins are gonna love this. And wait till you meet them. You're really gonna love them. Here they come. Henry, Smitty, Boomster. Long time no see. I love what you've done with your beak. What do you think of the new digs? Say hello to Galatis and the gang. They helped us remodel. Welcome. Get out. Salutations. Hmm, that didn't seem very nice. I believe we've been insulted. I have to agree with you, Humpy. And believe me, I know insults. Oh, they're just a little shy. They'll warm up once they get to know you. Who are those guys? And who are they? Maybe Henry invited them. But this is your place. He shouldn't do that. It was probably just an innocent mistake. Once in a lifetime, oops. Make that twice in a lifetime. Push my pocket. I got it. No. <sighs> Great game, isn't it? I wouldn't know. Your friends aren't allowing us to play. Well, maybe you'll like shuffle slide better. <laughs> Give it a go. <laughs> Look out! Hey, 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 don't go. The party's just getting started. Nah, we know when we're not wanted. But we're gonna be bombing for herring. I don't understand it either, Bob. How can two great groups not get along? We're penguins. Nature's hug. Willa! Yes, Dad? Oh, Willa, I am trying to concentrate here. Could you and the penguins please keep the noise down? Oh, sure, Dad. Sorry. Um, was she wearing... Nah. <laughs> didn't listen. You know, I'm beginning to think these guys aren't very nice. I can't believe we thought that feathered friends would be better friends. I guess there's more to being friends than just being alike. You said it, Galatis. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more, Bob. You're our best friend, Galatis. And the rest of the gang at the zoo come in a close second. Huh? Hey, Galatis isn't a trash can. Okay, that's it! <laughs> the party's over! Anybody who treats our friends badly isn't a friend at all! We're gonna have to ask you all to leave! <laughs> them to want to leave, but we'd have to put the attic back the way it was. Say goodbye to our new home? Bob's right. As long as we have you and our zoo friends, we're better off sharing an apartment with frozen peas. Oh, 
Well, thanks for quieting things down, Willa. No problem, Dad. But Inky, Blinky, and Bob need to move back into the freezer. Can we find some place else to put the frozen food? Hmm. Well, uh, Dooley's parents have an old freezer they've been trying to get rid of. I guess we could put it in the garage. And that would give us the summer cottage we've always dreamed of. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> uh, you're welcome, everyone. Uh-oh. I wonder what that is. Dad, no! <laughs> all-natural lemonade. Perfect for quenching the driest of throats. <laughs> oh, yippee! <gasps> Maybe next time I'll add some water and sugar. <laughs> Yeah, Willa. I don't know whether to swing or slide or hang upside down on the jungle gym. Um, guys, that's not exactly an elephant-sized playground. <laughs> but we can still have tons of fun. 71, 72. Like jumping rope. 73, 74. Uh, Sarah, when is it going to be our turn to jump? I think my arm's getting dizzy. Now you've made me lose count. Oh. Faster! I am an advanced jumper. Sarah, Kara, Lara, I've got a great idea! Hi! Oops. Anyway, Tiny and Lou just love to swing ropes, so we can all play together. Cool! All right! Anyway, Wendy, but Kara and Lara and I were just about to go to the mall. Right, girls? Uh, gee, Sarah, I'd kind of like to play a little longer with Wanda. Me too, and her two rhinos. Well, I'd rather go to the mall. Huh. I hope Sarah's not mad. Who? Elephant jump rope. What a great game, Willa. Actually, my name is... Hey, you got it right. <laughs> so, you actually played with Kara and Lara all morning? Uh-huh. And Tiny and Lou, too. Bonza, this is the best news ever, Willa. <laughs> Kara and Lara are in the Cool Girl Club, so when you play with them, that makes you cool, too. It does? So you're going to play with them again, right? I guess. But you and my other animals are plenty cool to me. <sighs> Waxing the old jalopy is a big job for this one chamois operation. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you cottontails have earned some extra carrots tonight. <laughs> um, it's... Oh, uh, hi, Kara, Lara, and... Oh, no, Sarah? Is Willa home? She's in the back with her animals. Hey, you buff and bunnies missed a spot. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! of the Backyard Animal <laughs> Obstacle Course, it's Bob yeah. by a beak. <laughs> <laughs> You're still the champ, Bob. Hi, Willa. Do 
you want to play with us some more? Oh, sure, Kara and Lara. But where is Sarah? She's always so bossy, so we don't want to play with her anymore. Oh. So what do you want to do? Um, I don't know. Sarah usually tells us what we want to do. Well, do you want to play with my animals? Okay. Who do we make fun of first? The roly-poly hairy thing? Or the way too happy hoppy creatures? <laughs> no, we don't make fun of them. We have fun with them. idea of fun is a playground. That growls when you step on its nose. <laughs> Sorry, Gus. We'll be more careful in the next race. Or we could play something else, please? I think Kara and Lara want to play a game they're more used to. Okay. How about we play dolls? Your hat is so much cuter than what the other dolls are wearing, Jason. Thanks, Angela. And your purse is super cooler than theirs, too. Um, Bob here thinks everybody looks really nice. <laughs> <laughs> the Willow way of playing dolls is way more fun than the Sarah way. No kidding. Sarah's doll usually makes our dolls cry. <laughs> now that you're friends with Kara and Laura, you'll need a cool outfit to wear to school tomorrow. Um, thanks anyway, Coco. I think I'll just wear what I usually do. Right. That's just what a cool kid would do. Sounds like somebody's getting a little kanga cuckoo. And that's what a cool kid would say. Whoa! <laughs> what put the extra hop in her hippity? Coco's just excited because I'm sort of part of the cool crowd now. Well, I guess that's cool. <laughs> as long as you don't stop being my little Willa. What do you mean, Dad? Oh, you know, the nice girl you already are. Now that's cool. Nighty night, honey. Good night. <sighs> Samuel. Thanks for the ride, Samuel. <gasps> hey, Willa, check it out. Somebody doesn't look so cool. In that not Willa outfit. Right, Willa? I think Sarah looks fine. Except maybe kind of sad. Hi, Kara. Hi, Lara. Why are you dressed like Wanda? Her name happens to be Willa. That's right, Sandra. <gasps> you know my name is Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I talk to you, Sarah? Why? So you can make fun of me for not being cool like you? No, I wanted to invite you to play at my house after school today. Really? Why? Kara and Lara are coming over, and I thought we could all play together. That does sound fun. Only, I don't think Kara and Lara like me anymore. Sure they do. But maybe you should try being nicer to them. Nicer? I think I can do that. Like... That's a really pretty outfit. Really? No, I was just being nice. This is easy. See you later. <laughs> Hi, Billy. Great haircut. Cindy, love that lunchbox.
Hi, Kara. Hi, Lara. I brought taffy because I remembered it's your favorite treat. Taffy is your favorite treat. Yes, yeah, Sally. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think bringing a treat was a very nice thing to do, Sarah. Whatever. Whatever. I know. I'll go round up some bunnies and we can play dolls. That poor little girl. No one wants her taffy. We love taffy. Let's make her feel at home. Oh, right behind you, Lou. <gasps> um, Willow? <Whoa! gasps> hey, free taffy! Line forms behind me! <laughs> Okay, girls, I've got the... Oh, no! Hey! Yay. Sorry, everybody. I guess Taffy and my animals don't mix, huh? I've got Taffy in my hair! And on my clothes! And yeah, there's sticky bunny fur everywhere! Let's go to my house and swap these messy outfits for some of my nice, clean ones. I mean, if you want to. Thanks, Sarah. Ugh. We can't wait to unwanda our wardrobe. Sorry, Willa. Looks like Sarah took your spot in that sticky click. I don't mind, Coco. I wanted us all to have fun together, but I guess they'd rather just be cool. Thanks for being nice to me, Wanda. I mean, Willa. Well, she did get my name right, so maybe that's a start. <laughs> this has to be the stickiest taffy we've ever been stuck together with. Hey, Bob, give us a hand, would ya? 